What's up vlog? Nice to see you again. It's been a while. We are packing up our house. As you can see, it's kind of a disaster right now. But yeah, we have to be out of the house in, let's say seven days, I think. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple more days to get out of the house. Most of the packing is pretty much done right now. I get the last few things and then we have to clean the whole house which Abby and Jacob are gonna come sometime later this week and help us do. We got a little new me running about. This is the perfect kind of environment for a ferret to play in when everything is a strew. A strew is your mood, isn't it, Numa? Hey vlog, what's up? It's been a couple days since I last vlogged, but um, we have packed just a little bit. We honestly don't have that much stuff, so there's not much packing to do. We're gonna start moving stuff over to our friend April's house today and tomorrow probably. And I also have some semi bad news. Mumsy is back in the hospital again. Um, I'll link all the videos and stuff down below or in the eye corner if you wanna know more about it. But she's not recovering from her injuries or her sicknesses and today she's getting another MRI. So we're gonna go over there, see her, support her and hopefully we can get some answers from the doctors. But yeah, right now we're just chilling, me and Jonathan. We have people over right now, some electricians that are looking at a light in the garage. And then once they leave, we'll be having a busy day today. So thought I would vlog it. We have how many days until we have to be out of here? Like, one day. One day for real? Because when we get back from camping, we have literally a day or two and then we have to we have to have the entire house already cleared so that we can completely clean everything from head to toe. So, it's crunch time! <laughs> and I'm getting kind of stressed out. <sighs> but it's okay. Everything will be fine. Um, but yeah. Check back in later, I guess. All right, we got the car full of some of our stuff for the first wave of moving it, moving all of it. So yay. Kid, of course, going on a little camping trip to celebrate my birthday. Do we know where we're camping at? Detroit Lake. Detroit Lake, okay. It's one of our favorite camping spots. We've been there a couple times before. But yeah, we have to go to Mumsy's house and get a couple things, trash bags and some pans so we can make some food. <laughs> All of our stuff is packed up. I should have shown the house while we were still there, but yeah, Crystal and Jacob came over and they are packing up the last little bit of their things and then all that's left is some of our stuff and then boom we're officially moved out of that house found a camping spot luckily so all of the like good camping spots that we have picked out along this freeway in Detroit Lake they've all turned into day use only so that's super annoying but we found a spot hidden away off the side of the road um, we're not close to the river but we are at the same time we're kind of on a cliff right now so we're not gonna get to swim or anything but honestly I think the water's still a little bit too cold for that so hey okay using our Christmas present from my mama. Ooh, I'm so excited to cook some dank ass food on this. Shit. 
can and just fit some hot ass food up. Yeah, I brought my damn tongue. Just look at this, look at this view, bruh. The river over there. Look at our, look at our fucking camp set up. Look at that. Fucking survivalists, all right? So we found this pretty dope spot over here. Come on, Ponyo. But we got some we got some dope ass view over here. Look at this. It's the most beautiful shit I've ever seen. Out of nowhere comes this amazing. Look at this little guy. Look at how fucking cute he is, dude. <laughs> He's just going along. He's so, He's so chill. Bro, this bro. reminds me of Argo. So we're out here painting. Mine is obviously trash, but Shannon's actually working on something that is gonna be something. Hopefully something for my loser <laughs> I don't know where mine is going. Good morning. It is the first day of being completely out of our old house. We moved in with our friend April last night. And this morning I'm taking Ponyo on a walk. Oh, now she's taking a poop. But yeah, so a real shitty thing. You saw the clip earlier. If you didn't understand it, our freaking air mattress is flat. I think it has a hole in it or something. Literally all of our air mattresses have had holes in them. So me and Jonathan have just been like sleeping on the floor, or sleeping on couches. I feel bad for Jonathan mainly though because he is literally working like 45 to 50 hour work weeks, night shift, and he has overtime today, and he's not gotten a lot of sleep. So I feel really, really bad about that. So hopefully, I think she just threw up. Um, so hopefully we can go to Walmart or something and get an air mattress for now. Um, Abby and Jacob have a bed that they're not going to be using anymore, so they're probably going to give that to us, which I'm super grateful for because I'm tired of sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Gotta pick up this dog poop real quick. I really like April's neighborhood. It's super cute. It's very, like, picturesque, I want to say. Like, it's all, all these houses are super cute. I'm not gonna say exactly where she lives just because I don't know if she's down for that on the vlogs. But yeah, it's super cute, love it. We've stayed with her before, I'll link the vlog up above. It wasn't for very long though because we were in like a transition period. We're probably gonna have to stay with her for a couple months this time around. We're super grateful that April even like let us stay in her house for this long. There's literally nowhere to get an apartment here in Albany that allows big dogs and if they do allow big dogs, it's usually like 65 pounds or under, which isn't even that big of a dog, honestly. That's like a, a pity size. But yeah, Ponyo actually remembers this place. It's kind of cute. She got all excited when I was going to take her on a walk. And she's friends with the other dog that April has, Bimo. So she was excited to see him. Praying for good things. Kind of in a funk right now, I'm not going to lie. Just been kind of thinking about life. Mainly, my focus right now is trying to get our room organized enough to where it's not so stressful walking around. There's like one tiny path, 
and all of our boxes are yet to be unpacked, so that's on my agenda for today.